And there are two ways. So the first way is to license it, to kind of knock on the door of the right hole and say, please license me this kind of data. This is one way. The other way is of scraping the data in the internet. Um, and here we got a situation that um, the first question is, in which country does this take place? There's a basic rule which says, well, this law is applicable in which the right holder is seeking protection. So if it's taking place in the US, US law applies. But here in Europe, we got a specific regulation for this. And this is called the tax and data mining exception, which was kind of, yeah, coming into our law in 2019 with the European Copyright Directive. It was then implemented in the German law in 2021. Frankly speaking, the politicians who made the Copyright Directive in 20, uh, 2019 had not in mind that there will be a way for general AI, which is kind of disrupting everything which uh, they planned so far. It's just like they had to work to cope with upload filters of YouTube or of Meta or of all the, the big online platforms. So this was the hot topic back then. This provision nevertheless says, okay, well, you as an AI developer, um, you are allowed to scrape the data without paying the author Two requirements are met. The first requirement is that the work is uh, is uh, lawfully accessible in the internet, which means kind of freely available on the internet, published on the internet. And the second criteria is the opt out in a machine readable format. And the right holder has to opt out on this website, for instance, in the company information, the imprint in a machine readable format, also in the robots text data, which means this kind of directory of every website, which is kind of a gatekeeper for crawlers. And, and when a crawler yeah, kind of detects a website, uh, the crawler is knocking on the door and saying, well, uh, may I enter the website? And then the robots text us no or yes. So this is kind of the option to opt for, opt for opting out. And if you're not opting out, the, the AI developer is allowed to use it. In the US, we got only the principle of fair use. I'm not a US lawyer, I can just kind of explain it in a very rough way, but the fair use principle um, is something we do not have in Europe. Um, this is, um, this is a, a, spe a special legal requirement in the US, and this says, well, we look on a case-by-case -case basis how we handle the situation. The, the courts are looking at the, the facts whether the copyright protected materials are used for commercial purposes, for private use purposes, for scientific purposes. And that's a clue which AI developers use because if you look at the AI developers, many say that they are just kind of um, scientific laboratory, uh, laboratories, which is an um, yeah, additional argument for them to say, well, it's fair use because we, we did it for scientific purposes as well. And then the courts look at the situation, and this leads to a certain legal uncertainty because um, it's that there is no specific rule in the law which says if you do that, you get this. It's just like, okay, you're doing it, and then at the later stage, the courts will clarify whether this was lawful or not. 